uniting former Miss South Africa Joanne Strauss with the newly crowned Rolene was a perfect recipe for inspiration. Rolene, tell me, the moment that your name was announced as Miss South Africa, what went through your mind? I can't really remember, but I just, I just felt grateful for the opportunity to live my dream. And at the same time, it was bittersweet because I knew exactly what those next to me felt like. Two years ago, I was where they were on that evening, top five, but I'm grateful and, and blessed to be where I am now today. What do you think you learned from the first experience that stood you in good stead the second time round? The big thing that I learned was dedication. And if you're really passionate about something, go after it. Just give everything. And I entered in 2011. I remember standing there and when they didn't call my name, it was almost like a relief. I haven't said this, but I knew that I couldn't be the best Miss South Africa at that time. It was Melinda's year and 100% for sure, uh, I knew this year that this is my year. I'm actually having a bit of a deja vu moment because our paths have crossed before. We met 14 years ago when I was Miss South Africa. I actually have proof of that. Mm -hmm. So I brought an album with the picture that was taken. The famous picture. In my small town, <laughs> Fultrist. And the most special part about this picture is my mom wrote, Toekomstige in Heidege Mevra Suid-Afrika underneath. And that is the next and the current Miss South Africa. So it was kind of a... Prophetic. Prophetic. And, you know, the legacy started here already. Oh, that is amazing. 14 years 14 ago. 14 years ago. And here we're sitting again. Can't believe it. <laughs> Honouring tradition, this medical student from Bloemfontein will represent South Africa at Miss World and Miss Universe later this year. You look amazing! Thank you so much. <laughs> you know how to work the different angles, Thank absolutely you. professional. But now from one Miss South Africa to another, you know there's a lot of pressure to constantly look incredible. Mm -hmm. How do you manage to maintain? Well, there's two sides to it, as you know. The first one is to look after yourself, to live a healthy lifestyle. So you have to drink water and have a healthy exercise routine. And the second one is wearing beautiful designs from proudly South African designers with so much potential. They make it easier for me. Speaking of South African designers, you're very passionate about your country. Well, every time I hear the word South Africa, I just get goosebumps all over. I had the opportunity to travel abroad and that made me realize that, you know, we have so much potential. We have so much going for us and you can live your dream in our country. As the reigning Miss South Africa, you always have to be the most beautiful woman who walks into the room. How do you manage to actually dress appropriately for every event you go to? You have to know where you're going, first of all. If it's for a charity event with kids, you know, wear a bit flatter heels and wear something comfy that you can go up and down with and sit with the kids. And evening wear is just sparkle. And I like to ask the designer what inspired the dress. What, because someone, when someone asks me, okay, um, what are you wearing? Who are you wearing? I like to tell a bit of a story about the dress. What a gorgeous shot. Denzel, as a photographer, what is it like photographing Rolene? It's an absolute dream photographing Rolene. Her beauty is on the inside and the outside and that definitely translates in every image you take of her. It's hard to take a terrible image of her, actually. Um, and also, it's, it's that personality, I think, that's key, but she also knows how to use her body and how to show that off and in an amazing way. And I think that that's something that uh, not many people uh, are able to do. Neither is acing aerial yoga on the first go. But for Rolene, an avid golfer and fitness fanatic, it's another natural aptitude, like scoring straight A's in higher grade maths. Helping her achieve top honours in this class was instructor Marit Stein. I thought I was setting a challenge for you, but you're actually excelling at this already. Marit, tell me, is there anything different about aerial yoga which makes it more beneficial to the body? When we hang literally in the fabric, it really takes the uh, compression out of the spine. So, wonderful way to decompress, the, especially the lower back. So great, great for that. And then there's a whole range of benefits, a lot of strength work. And, you know, playing with this fabric really changes your relationship uh, with gravity. And that's why we call it anti-gravity yoga. Where does this type of yoga actually come from? So originally it started in America with Christopher Harrison. He was a yogi, but he was also working with um, aerial arts. And he was seeing that before they go on stage, just to calm the mind, calm the nerves, they would use yoga, but then he thought of the swing would be a very, very efficient way to warm the body up, to tone it before performance, and, and also now it's spread out to that anybody can do it really, really easy. Yeah. It looks like so much fun. I actually wish I could do it, but it's still too soon after having had a baby. But you absolutely took to this like a duck to water. What did it feel like? 
absolutely loving this. It's amazing. I feel like a child again. And you know, being studying medicine, health is important. And this to me feels like mental health as well. You're relaxing and you think about your body and you're not worrying about gravity. So, so I love it. Renee, it's been so much fun hanging out with you. And you know what? I'm confident you're going to keep the Strauss name flying high. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> I'll show you my commitment. One, two, three, and fly! If another title could do Rolene Strauss justice, there's no doubt it's Superwoman.